evening and welcome everyone to the 2022 Senior Games Follies. I want to give you a little history of the North Carolina Senior Games and where McDowell as a local games began. Uh, North Carolina Senior Games began in 1983 with a vision to create a year-round health promotion and wellness education program for adults 55 years of age and better. It is now 50 and better. The Senior Games mission is truly grassroots in North Carolina and has placed our state far beyond other states with the structure that is participated driven. Haywood County, Charlotte, and Wilmington were the first three local games in 1983 and served as the role model for other communities to begin local games. 17 senior games were held statewide in 1984, McTow County being one of them, and 22 in 1985. The, the year the first annual North Carolina Senior Games State Finals were hosted in Raleigh. What happened in our backyard daily and weekly is most important. Senior Games has always been a bottom-up organization. The purpose of offering local games is to get seniors in your community involved. The first three years in our state was so other communities in North Carolina could watch and learn from the model program. It, the local games after three years state stood up and said let's have a state wide competition. So that's what happened after that and that's how the North Carolina Senior Games came about. Now there are more than 50 local games serving over 100 counties in North Carolina. From the first senior game in 1983 to the present, this event has become a celebration of the human spirit in the truest sense of the word. State final offers participants more than friendly competition. It also provides individuals from participants to volunteers and an opportunity to showcase their talents, enjoy being active, renew old skills, and learn new ones. Perhaps most important of all, it allows everyone involved to join together in what has come, has come to be called the Senior Games Family. Qualifiers from local games are invited to participate in the annual state senior games held every fall. Then every two years, the state winners will qualify for nationals. Nationals is being held this year in Florida, and we do have two participants from Mountain County, one in shuffleboard and one in the golf tournament that will be representing Mountain County. In 1980, thank you, that's good. In 1986, Civil Arts was formed to give seniors in North Carolina an outlet for creative expressions. Civil Arts brings together the athletic and the artist in a program that recognizes the values of common to both. Dedication and a sense of accomplishments. The following is the performing arts that is one of the um, parts of civil arts. And tonight we will enjoy an array of talent and I am sure you will be entertained. And we hope you get a chance to visit our showcase, our civil arts showcase that is on display next door. And so um, Senior Games is not only for the sport, it is for the artist at heart. Um, now, I would like to introduce to you Jennifer Taylor Ivey. She is our co-coordinator 
And this is actually the first time that she's ever got to participate in senior games uh, as the Follies. We would like to thank our many sponsors that are listed on the back of your programs. If you happen to be in any of these businesses, please let them know how appreciative we are for their contributions to McDowell Senior Games. Now I'd like to introduce the former 2019 and 2020 Little Miss McDowell, Ava Grace Epler, who's going to sing our national anthem. Oh, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam whose broad stripes and bright stars through the or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the Now, I want to introduce Marie Letford. She is a participant of Senior Games, but she is also an ambassador for Senior Games. Uh, we do have one more ambassador that has um, just become ambassador this last year. Tim Ivey, if you'll stand and let everybody see you. So we appreciate these people because I call on them a lot. So here's Marie Letford. Boy, it's good to be back, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I thank the good Lord that, that he has brought us through this little rough patch that we've had. Uh, I'm very thankful that things are kind of getting back to normal. Feels good to be back. See all of you? The spirit of senior games. I am pride in one's community and its representation throughout the state. I am a smile or a hug from a newfound friend. I am the desire that inspires all that are involved to give their very best. I am thankful for the gifts of health and wellness that are mine. I am love and support that touches people of all ages. I am the knowledge that every individual is one of God's special creatures. I am the thread that unites each of us into one. For this night and all the years to come, I am the spirit of Senior Games. Okay. Thank you, Marie. So at this time, I want to introduce our MC, Waylon Preborn. He is the director for the MacDowell Senior Center and my boss. And it doesn't hurt to tell him I need a raise. Fish Fruit Board, or Waylon, began work in the organization as a human resource aide in 2003 and began his directory director in 2006. He studied psychology and business at Western Piedmont Community College in Appalachian State. Don't hold that against him. He enjoys his 
professional and especially have been planned and developing programs for older adults and their families through education, health and wellness initiatives. Anyway, everybody knows I can't speak. <laughs> Volunteer opportunities and human development. When not working, he enjoys time with his wife, Shasha, and daughter, Lily, and having a, a grand adventure in this beautiful world. And uh, I want to add that he's um, the best boss I've ever worked for. So uh, he needs a raise. So mention that to any of the commissioners <laughs> or wives of commissioners. And um, anyway, uh, we appreciate Waylon, and he was, you know, all for it. All I had to say is, Waylon, I need an MC, and he's all for it. So, and also he has a mother that's here tonight, and she's also a senior games participant, and actually won best to show in our civil arts program back there, so please step back there and see her work. At this time, I'm gonna ask Waylon to come forward, and again, Waylon, we appreciate you. Brenda, I appreciate you and Jennifer, our volunteers that help with senior games, and of course, our athletes, uh, and everyone that participates in this wonderful program every year. It is so great to be back inside having a fall East night again. We are on an upswing and it is a good time to be alive and to be here. Um, tonight, tonight uh, before we get started with our wonderful acts here this evening, so I'd like to introduce uh, three more people that have been volunteering their time tonight. Our two judges and our auditor. I'll first start with Keith Turner. He's a McDowell County native, a 1985 graduate of McDowell High School. He has been married to Rita Silvers Turner since 1989. Still going well? Okay, good to hear that, Keith. Okay. They have three daughters, Haley, Sarah, and Kaylin, and one granddaughter, Liana. He has worked for the Department of Corrections for 25 years, God bless you, where he is a program supervisor over recreation. He is a member of Going Home Free Will Baptist Church, where he is a deacon, Sunday school teacher, and guitar player. His hobbies are antique cars, music, and restoring and selling antique North Carolina license plates. Wow, that is cool. So please, give a round of applause to Keith Turner. My favorite bio tonight, on the back of a receipt. Uh, next up is our other judge, Savannah Allison. She is a mother to three chick kids, Tori, Evan, and Destiny. She is married to Chris Allison of almost 11 years, and we appreciate Chris's work with our county as county commissioner. She is a licensed cosmetologist of 12 years and owns her own salon, and she is currently employed by the McDowell County Register of Deeds. Welcome, Savannah, for this evening. And then, lastly, we have our auditor this evening and timer. This is Helen Johnson. She's been married to Lloyd Johnson for 33 years, has two children, Scotty and Crystal, and she is blessed with four granddaughters. She's been employed at McDowell Hospital for over 25 years. I've known her for quite a while now. She loves to sew and do crafts of all kinds and really enjoys camping with her husband. She also attends Going Home Free Will Baptist Church. She's been a member there for 24 years and enjoys spending time with her church family. She also wanted me to mention that she is Brenda's younger sister and she is older than me no matter what she says. <laughs> Well, are you guys ready to be entertained? Yes. All right, well, let's start with our first act for in our category of comedy and drama solo. We have Sharon Masson that will be coming up to the stage and she's going to be doing a stand-up comedy routine this evening, which I think after the last couple of years, we all need a little humor. Does that sound about right? Yes. Welcome Sharon to the stage, everyone. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and those of you who are trying to be, <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> uh, 
Um, my name is Sharon Matson, and I'm a retired nurse from the VA hospital and I enjoy games so I always used to play some games with my patients at the VA and some of the games that we would play were kick the urinal can, hide and go pee, musical bedpans, and my favorite was Red Rover, Red Rover, the nurse says bend over. <laughs> How about those gas prices? They say the only place you can get gas for two dollars is Taco Bell. <laughs> and I stopped at a gas station on the way here tonight and I went in and I asked the clerk for five dollars worth of gas. She farted and gave me a receipt. <laughs> Last year I had COVID like a lot of people did. Did anybody in here have COVID last year? Yeah, it's awful. Um, most of my hair fell out after I'd had COVID. I was in the hospital two weeks. And I was talking to Waylon about my hair falling out. And I said, well, the doctor said it'll grow back. And he said, they didn't tell me that. <laughs> and I said, you know, Waylon, when you're bald and in the front, it means that you're a thinker. And if you're bald and in the back, it means you're a good lover. And Waylon says, well, what does it mean if you're bald and in the front and the back? And I said, it means you think you're a good lover. <laughs> My neighbors are Gigi and Julie Lopp. Some of you may know them. Uh, Julie turned 90 in December and one day I was talking to her and she told me that when her and Gigi first got married they were laying in bed one night reading of course uh, and all of a sudden she heard this noise it was and she turns to Gigi and she said what was that and Gigi being the fast thinker he is he said that's bedtime football, and I just scored a touchdown. So Julie decided that she would get in on the game. So she goes, she said, touchdown, the tie scored. Well, Gigi, being a competitor that he is, he didn't want her to beat him at his own game. So he strained, and he strained, and he pushed, and he pushed, and all of a sudden, And Julie looked at him and said, what was that? And Gigi said, half time, time to change sides. <laughs> Thank you, have a good evening. Sharon, thank you for your comedy this evening, and that inspires me. Just a couple of jokes also, I hope that's okay, Sharon. Let's see, what do you call a fish wearing a bow tie? So fishdicated. So fishdicated. Ah, this is a good one for this time of year. If April showers bring May flowers, what do May flowers bring? Pilgrims. May flowers. Pilgrims. Okay, I'll pause right there. For our next act coming up uh, to perform for us this evening, we have Joyce Jacobs performing to last night and she wants to let the audience to know that you can clap along you can holler just be kind and don't throw anything got that from someone else and listen well she's coming up to the stage to perform for you now welcome her to the stage joyce jacobs <laughs>
that energy tonight with that dance. That inspires me to tell a couple more jokes. Oh, oh. What did the ocean say to the beach? Nothing. It just waved. Waved. Oh, that just inspires me to do more. I asked my dog, what's two minus two? He said nothing. Because he's a dog, he can't talk. Two minus two is, yes, okay. <clears throat> you know what, I don't trust those trees out there. Do you know why? Because they seem kind of shady. Okay, before Brenda escorts me from the building, why don't I bring up the next act tonight? Yes. Yes. I from heartfelt from the audience. Yes. Yes. Please move off the stage. So I, we have a real treat for you coming up to the stage at this time. We have Richard Tuttle. Tuttle. Richard Tuttle is coming up to the stage and he is performing Bigfoot is real to me. You'll see this nowhere else but tonight. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Bigfoot Troubadour. You know, it ain't, it ain't easy being a Bigfoot. People don't believe you exist. And yet, they think Tom Brady is real. I don't get it. So I wrote this song to try to convince people. I saw Bigfoot having lunch over at the Waffle House. Sitting right there in a corner booth with Elvis and Mickey Mouse. Bigfoot, he wasn't talking much, just a chomping on a BLT. If you saw him from behind with all that hair, you might mistake him for an old hippie. What you wanna believe? Bigfoot is real to me. Now you may be thinking I've been drinking, or maybe that I'm stoned. Say what you will about me, but you better leave my Bigfoot alone. Yeah, you can't believe what you wanna believe. To me. Now Bigfoot may be different, but that ain't a crime. He's not antisocial, he's just hard to find. Yeah, Bigfoot may seem cabra shy, cause he don't hang around too long. Hey, there he is, turn around real quick, whoa! Too late, he's gone. Yeah, you can't believe what you want to believe. Bigfoot is real to me. Thank you. Fantastic job, Richard. Where else can you see Bigfoot performing in McDowell County? He is alive, and because we're in senior games, Bigfoot is aging. <laughs> aren't we all? That is true. And aren't we all ready for a couple more jokes? So, what do you call cheese that's not yours? Nacho cheese. Nacho cheese! Awesome. If a child refuses to nap, are they guilty of resisting arrest? Resisting arrest. Oh, did you hear about the uh, kid who was about the kidnapping at school? It's okay, he woke up. But it boom. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, you're going to love this one. This one's especially for down front here. I once got fired from a canned juice company. Apparently, I couldn't concentrate. Okay. Okay, next act? What do you say? Next act, everybody. 
Oh boy, we're going to have a nice treat up here. We have the Gold Dusters coming under the category of Line Dance Small Group. The Gold Dusters include Joyce Jacobs, Faye Connor, Steve Burns, performing to Coca-Cola Cowboy. Welcome our wonderful performers tonight to the stage. I can do it with my eyes closed. <laughs> what do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. <laughs> what do you call a pony with a sore throat? A little horse. Yes. All right, to save you some more pain, I'm going to bring some more talent up to the stage at this time. In our category of comedy slash drama solo, we're bringing up Gene Honeycutt, quoting the poem, I'm Clearing the Way. Gene, come up to the stage. Welcome her to the stage, everyone. Clearing the Way by Laura M. Knight. I've waited quite a long time to grow old, so I think I might as well enjoy it. I can't turn it in for a refund, 
and I surely don't want to destroy it. They tell me that life is a one-way street. As if I'm too dumb to know. I guess I'll just keep moving forward. There's not much choice where to go. I'd like to, lose, to lighten the luggage I've accumulated over the years. I'd be smart to release the memories that brought about heartaches and tears. That would make living much easier. Free up space that then could be filled with the appreciation of the good things in life and the promise that then I could build a future that lives in the moment with little regard for the past. My time will be filled with contentment no matter how long it lasts. So now that I'm ready for the rest of my trip, now that I'm ready for the rest of my trip, I foresee no problems ahead. I'll make each day a worthwhile event and never regret the life I have led. Gee, fantastic job. So, we have our performers for this evening that have performed, but don't worry, more entertainment's coming. At this time, uh, the judges will need their time to tally the scores along with their auditor back there. If you guys want to stand here to do that, you absolutely can. If you guys want to do that. Okay. So, since we don't ever get this here, I'd like to invite Bigfoot back to the stage to do another song for us. Thank you, Waylon. I wonder if there's some more of those jokes. <laughs> oh, let me be your teddy bear. Wrap the chain around my neck. Take me anywhere. Oh, let me be your teddy bear. Don't want to be tired, tired of playing too rough. Don't want to be alive, cause I ain't never loved you never loved. Just let me be the old teddy bear. Wrap the around my neck, take me anywhere, oh let me be. Can I tell a couple jokes before we get done? Okay. I don't know if they're really jokes per se from this crowd's reaction, but there's something. What is the best smelling insect? A deodor ant. Deodorant. Oh my goodness, don't worry, I didn't run out. Oh, I have a whole other page. <laughs> Why are piggy banks so wise? They are filled with common sense. Remember, you want to remember these next part you go to. How can you tell if a tree is a dogwood tree. By its bark, we got some pretty smart people in this room. Where do young trees go to learn? Elementary school. Or the nursery. Oh my goodness, she's upstaging me from over here. Did you hear about the circus fire? It was intense. Intense. Okay, you got those, you got the scores over there? One more, one more, maybe five. I wouldn't buy anything with Velcro. You know why? Because it's a ripoff. Okay, with that, I will turn it back out. Yay! <laughs> we are, yes. Um, he's taking my life, you know, I'm the one that tells jokes around here, so, but anyway, no, I won't take the thunder from his performance. Okay, uh, before Wayland comes back up here and announce the winner, um, 
just to let the ones that don't know, the best the show is announced, and that is the one with the high score. At State, they have a folly show down there that um, a best the show from each county can perform down there. It's an awesome show. They help hold it at uh, State University, and it's really good. But anyway, so the best of show will be announced last. Usually this time, we always give medals for the gold, silver, and bronze to our performers. Tonight we are not. We are changing our medals this year. And so uh, we will have a award ceremony here with light freshmen. Anyone can come, uh, family, invite your friends, and we will award the medals that night. We'll go ahead and let you know who won tonight, but we won't give a medal to that to that night. And it's kind of a surprise on what the medals will be that night, but it's going to be a really good thing, I think, as we transform over to them. But you will be awarded, best the show will be awarded the trophy. And that's yours to take home. Next year, bring it back. Not joking. <laughs> if you want to save senior game some money, bring it back. No, no, it's yours to keep. Uh, I know that we have uh, a group that actually had three in it. Anytime that a group that would win it that had more than one, we order smaller trophies for everyone. But anyway, so. But at this time, I want to bring Waylon back up. <laughs> And I'll take his joke. No. <laughs> and he will announce the, the winners in each category. And then he will announce the best to show winner, okay? So I've got it wrote down on. Don't mess it up, Wayne. Okay. Fantastic. All right. So. Please come up to the stage area, as I call your names, in our comedy slash drama solo, with the silver medal is Jean Honeycutt. Come on up to the stage. And comedy drama solo gold is Sharon Madsen. Come on up. Our line dance, well, actually I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna do dance solo, for gold is Joyce Jacobs, come on up. And along with her, they can also come up with Blind Dance Small Group, the Gold Dusters. So that whole group come on up to the stage. For vocal solo, you might call him Bigfoot, but you might call him Richard Tuttle. Richard, come on up to the stage. Oh yes, and he got gold also. So first off, what I'd like to do before we announce the best of show winners, please give a round of applause to all of our performers this evening. We couldn't do the show without these wonderful people that donate their time and entertain us. So please tell them thank you this rest of this evening. And just, we appreciate you helping us restart our Follies Night at the McDowell County Senior Games. Now in Best in Show, our winner this evening is Richard Tuttle, AKA Bigfoot. Very nice. Congratulations to Bigfoot being our winner. If you need someone to perform for you in a very unique way, please reach out to Richard or AKA Bigfoot. I think he can put you on a great show for you. I want to thank everyone for coming out and supporting these wonderful performers this evening. Give yourselves a round of applause. And to our viewers on McDowell TV, thanks for watching. Everyone have a fantastic night.